Hello YouTubers, this is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions and this is my first 24 hours with the Blue Studio 5.5. Hello guys, this is Eric again with another video. I'm downtown New Orleans. Before I even start this 24 hour review, I wanna kinda of give you guys a shot of New Orleans. Kinda of look at New Orleans, guys. This is a beautiful city. Uh, just kinda of hanging out in New Orleans, kinda of doing this 24 hour review. Okay, so we got the Blue Studio here. Um, and I've been testing this device out for 24 hours. Um, I actually got the, the pink version. It kind of looked red. Uh, I got this on purpose. It's because I want to uh, take this device and get this device away uh, after my initial testing with this device. But for the most part, I have kind of a mixed bag uh, with this device. I mean, for the it, it is a okay device. Um, Let's go down and recap the specs. We got a quad core MediaTek processor, four gigs of internal storage, one gig of RAM running lolly. I'm running Jelly Bean 4.2 on this device. And I think that's one of the things that may be hurting this device uh, because I do run into some app crashes and stuff like that. So uh, I'm thinking that if Blue will update this device to Lollipop, uh, this device will run pretty well. Uh, as far as the smoothness for the first 24 hours, it's running pretty fast. Uh, don't have any issues with uh, performance. Uh, but what I mean by app crashing, I'm gonna give an example. So I'm gonna hit wallpaper and it crashes. See, if I hit wallpaper again, it crashes. So that's some of the issues that I've been running into with this device. Again, with only one gig of RAM, um, it may be some of those issues with that. Uh, with the with the uh, RAM management, but for the most part, the phone feeling real good, real solid phone. Um, obviously, you can rock this without a case because of the um, the plastic bag. Uh, and I mean, for the most part, it does look pretty good. Uh, and again, you got your power button here, volume rocker here, um, and you have a removable back which is nice, What you got two SIM slots here and a micro SD card, five megapixel camera on the back, uh, a VGA camera on the front, uh, and, I, and I did take some footage with this camera, so I'm gonna show that to you right now. What's up YouTube, this is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions, and I'm filming this on the five megapixel camera from Blue, uh, this is the Blue Studio 5.5 and I am shooting this live footage right in New Orleans right there. It's a bridge that goes here that you can walk up and go across. So just kind of giving you a video here of the 5 megapixel camera of the Blue Studio 5.5. All right, so as you saw in that uh, footage there, the camera, you know, you'd be the judge of the camera um, and it, it's okay. Uh, the five megapixel camera does an okay job. Uh, for my full review, I will go ahead on and do some in more intensive testing uh, with the camera. But overall, the viewing angles, uh, since I'm outside, is okay. Taking it that it's a lower uh, quality, um screen it's a lower disc screen uh so but i can see it pretty well i don't know if you can see it on the camera but um i can definitely see this pretty well now i did slap nova launcher on here it's like i do with all my devices i put nova launcher on there but overall uh, my first 24 hours with this device is pretty solid. If, if Lollipop was to come to this device, um, uh, I think it would perform totally well. Uh, now, you can, even with the four gigs of storage, you can sideload your apps to the micro SD card, so that is a good thing. Uh, taking it that this device is only limited to four gigs, and that one gig of RAM uh, is suspect, so I'm going to continue to test this device, and again, once I test this device, it's going to be a, a total giveaway, uh, so stay tuned for that. 
This is Eric from Easy Computer Solution. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this Blue Studio low budget phone here. Uh, this is what I, my first series of phones that, that I'm going to do here and I'll get a whole bunch of low budget phones and I'm going to you know review them and uh, let you know uh, exactly what I think about them thank you guys y'all have a good day see you on the next one peace